and greetings. This is Nigeria from the UrbanBuzzMag.com, where key players speak. And I have Shalea with me, who just finished doing an awesome performance of uh, her new song. Tell us the name of it. Introduce yourself to us yeah. and let us know what's going on. <laughs> well, first I gotta say the honor is mine for you to just be spending this time with me. Uh, my name is Shalea and I'm a singer, songwriter, producer. Um, just came out with an album called Love Fell On Me and I just had the amazing opportunity to perform uh, actually the second single from the album, Love The Way You Love Me. I loved it. And oh, thank you so much. Um, and you know what's so interesting? I felt a different response on that song than even the cover. Mm. And that was really rewarding because, you know, I, it feels like they were with me more on right. the first one. Right. And that one came from my heart. So, right. so that, that, was, that felt really, really good. Um, and it's, it's good to just start to perform your own song out because right. then you can kind of get a gauge of what is actually attaching to people's hearts. Absolutely. So that was good. Tell us how you started just becoming interested in singing. Was it like you've been singing since two or... I can't believe you hit it right <laughs> baby but my mom you know writes little entries and she said I was harmonizing at two years old wow um you know so music was always a part of my life more you know before I could even remember um but I sang in the church okay so okay. so there wasn't um there wasn't this big um push to to do this as a living it was mm -hmm. like I just sang for the Lord and, amen. and, and that was amen. it amen um but but I, I did it wasn't until college that I thought maybe I could do this as a career. Does anybody in your in your anybody else in your family sing? Mom, dad. Everybody sing. That's what's okay. so funny. Okay. Mom sings, dad sings. Okay. Um, I think my mom actually could have been a professional singer. Okay. Um, but you know you, you know she had kids and <laughs> you know, right right you live your life. But mm -hmm. um, but yeah no my sisters sing um and and so I come from a very musical family. But it was, in our family, education was pushed. So, so it was all about getting the education. Yeah, my first. dad's a principal, my mom's a teacher, my baby sister's a school psychologist. So education, yeah. that was what was the, the big push. Okay. Yeah. And so then now that you have an album out, mm -hmm. right? Tell us that process, especially now in the age of digital media. Yeah. Um, are you signed to a label? Do you yeah. have your own? T tell us about that, being signed to a label, and how did that happen? How did that even come yeah. about? Yeah, you know, it is. It's so different. Just social media has, I feel like it's just opened a whole new lane for, for the music industry, which, you know, we're, they're even kind of trying to recover from. Right. Because right. of just the, the, the big major labels don't have the same control that they once had, so they've had to adjust. This whole music industry has had to adjust. Um, and so I, I I felt like I was waiting on a major label, um, but because it's a different, my music is kind of a different lane. I think it's it's easy to listen to, so it's not, I mean, and let, let me just preface this by saying I absolutely adore Esperanza Spalding, but she's not necessarily for the common listener just because her music is so, you know, it's on such a high level musically that everybody can appreciate it. Um, but then yet it's not just a simple R&B album. You know, it's got some musical elements, it's got strings, it's got real arrangements. So I needed to find a home that was gonna get all of that. And right. so a good friend of mine, Tony Shepard, um, he actually has been my music uh, partner, music producing, producing partner, and he started a label. Um, it was a 10 year friendship that we had and just two, three years ago, he started the label, and it just felt like home. I said, you know, I'm gonna be waiting for a major label, you know, the rest of my life. Let me just get an album out, get a product out, and just get my feet wet, and 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 just take this step. And right. it's been incredible. I mean, to have Stevie Wonder, Brian McKnight, writing with Nora Michael Walden, uh, Saida Garrett, on a debut album, on an indie. Um, I feel blessed. And there's some things I couldn't even plan. God just said, I, I want you to have it. That's so, right. Yeah. That's right. We're going to go to a little clip of you playing okay. tonight, okay. and then we'll be right back. Okay. Greetings. We're back, man. That was awesome. How did you learn how to play the keyboards? You was kind of Aretha Franklin in up there a little bit. What's now the, you know, keys and everything? Oh, man. Well, first of all, you know I love Alicia Keys, but thank you for referring to Aretha. <laughs> 
you to say that, and it's no disrespect to Alicia Keys. No, no disrespect to Alicia Keys. I love you. I'm just yeah. saying. I'm an old school. Yeah. I love Aretha. But I love that that was the person you. you I'm sorry. Me to. And that, See, now you get me in trouble with Alicia. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Yeah. Yeah. We love you. We Alicia, love everybody. Right. But no, um, I, I, as long as I can remember, I was, you know, just tinkering on the piano. Mm -hmm. um, again, with my baby book, you know, uh, there's, there's entries where I, you know, I would never bang, even as a baby, which is very one by one with my right. finger, would just play the keys, you know, listening right. to the tones. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, but I started lessons, um, my official lessons mm -hmm. at, at seven. Okay. At seven years old, and so that's you know you may hear you know some classical um, influences in my music because I took I took piano lessons for that's several so years. I actually graduated um, from Oakwood University with a degree in music and emphasis piano. Wow. So I had to you know I had to play all that stuff, which is perishable because I can't play <laughs> most of that stuff I was playing in in college, all those classical pieces. But yeah, I mean I. I find that the, the piano playing lends itself to songwriting. Okay. And and of course there's a, amazing songwriters that don't play a lick, but for right. me I felt that it, it has aided in that way and then songwriting just kind of lends itself to producing. Right. And so that's that's how I've I've able I've been able to just write, uh, produce and you know Speaking of songwriting, what are a couple of songs on the new C D that mm -hmm. you 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 have out now. Oh man! Well, I definitely love "Love the Way You Love Me," the single I just performed. Um, that I love that song because it was yeah, very. Oh, here's the CD. Yeah. Here's the back. Here's the back. That's cute too. <laughs> but no, I I love "Love the Way You Love Me" because it was difficult to write that song. Mm. I had actually written the chorus several years ago. And I wanted to um, to finish the song. It was just kind of in my heart and spirit. But when I started, I was all in love and, and okay. happy. And at the time, I was not. And so it, I just was not inspired. I just couldn't. Because I, I always want my music to be authentic. Right. And it doesn't mean that I have always gone through every single experience that I write about. But it has to come from a real place. Right. And I just remember staring at the keyboard. And it, this had actually never happened to me. And nothing was there. I just felt hollow and numb. Wow. And all of a sudden, I just started just thinking about, you know, what I would want in a relationship. And and, I, and the first line came, it's 502 on the dot, we're cuddled in our favorite spot. And, and, and then the, it just, it just flowed, cool. it just completes it. So I feel like that song will always have a special place. Um, and I love performing it. And what's so ironic is that a song that was so hard for me to write has really resonated with people. People are just like, I want this to be my wedding yeah. song. Like, wedding song? Right. Okay. But, right. you know, but they, they, I think it taps into, I think every human being wants to, to feel that way mm -hmm. about someone who is just, you know, you just love, you can be yourself and, right. and just to feel completely known and loved. So, mm. so that's one. Um, all, all these songs I, I have a, a special attachment to. Uh, Can't Play It Cool, the one with Brian McKnight. Mm -hmm. um, that has to be one of my favorite uh, songs of mine, lyrically. Okay. I don't know what I was on, but I was on some other stuff. <laughs> 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 I need to get back to that. Yeah, okay. But, uh, but yeah, no, it, it's a very, very sexy, sensual, but just um, just a very visual song. Um, not explicit, but right, um, right. But it just it just kind of described just you know someone who is just really really into someone okay and so, so okay. I, that's that's one of my favorites okay well. a lot of love songs any breakup oh, songs girl, yes we do okay yes, we what's do. the breakup we got, we got independence day okay you made me feel so bad it was unnatural no uh what's the next one um i'm already you know uh see now you got me i forget on lyrics to my song it's a horrible this was actually a co-write, so that's probably okay. why I remember me that part. Okay. But we got that one. That's a perfect girl anthem breakup song. Right, right. Um, another one that's kind of... You know, but this is the thing. A, a lot of people... Maybe I shouldn't say a lot of people, but, but a lot of times in music, especially from a female perspective, we bash men mm -hmm. in our breakup songs mm -hmm. or sad songs. Mm -hmm. Thankfully... 
prayerfully, thankfully, I haven't had these negative right. experiences with men. I've had breakup, I've had right, heartache, right, right. but um, but it hasn't been a negative thing. So a lot of my songs, like "Wouldn't Be Me" and "Good Night and Said Goodbye," is talking about breakup, but it's doing it, you know, from a point of view of it just didn't work out. Obviously, there was something in me, something in you that just couldn't exist at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's nobody's fault. Right. Let's move on. You know. It's sad, mm -hmm. but you know, but we're moving on. So I feel like even my sad songs kind of have that I'm gonna be okay in there. Okay, good. So, and, and that's more of the emphasis as opposed to, you know, nigga, you ain't nothing. Right, 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 yeah. True that, true you that, yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. But you know, cause I, I, that, I, I, like, again, I have to speak from what is, is true in me and I don't, right. I don't have that. Maybe, you know, crossing yeah, my fingers. Yeah. Right, that's a good but, thing. Um, you know, it's just how, about how you approach it, and I don't approach relationships that way. But you it know. sounds like a great album. Tell oh, people how to you. get it and your website. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited. It's on iTunes right now. It's on Amazon right now. It looks like this little black girl on a piano. <laughs> uh, you know, I thought that was different. Yeah, that so was you can, that. see it. Um, and um, I'm on Twitter, uh, okay. Shalaya Music. Um, also, my Facebook music page, also just www.shaleamusic.com. And um, let's see what else. Instagram, you know, I, okay. I post yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. also Shalea Music. Right, right. So, so I would love, love to keep in contact. All right. Well, we thank you, and definitely you're a key player. I mean, uh, with all of the <laughs> songwriting, the playing, the, the keyboard, and yeah. just, I mean, your vocals are outstanding. Thank you. Um, the tribute to Whitney, oh, you know, yeah. go YouTube her, see it. It's yeah. awesome. It was much better live, but, oh, yeah. you know, <laughs> we'll tell them to go there and check you out. And I, I, again, we thank you so much. Thank you. Until I came closer